My name is Prima and I'll teach Indonesian at Heathmont Secondary College, which is located in the southeastern part of Melbourne. This school comprises of about 650 students who are largely of monocultural and monolingual background. I put together an intercultural approach called the cultural task-based design. In this approach, students are given options on learning tasks and also in how they wish to present their learning outcomes. Providing choices gives them a sense of ownership of their learning. Yes. Namasaya Damon. Namasaya James. Namasaya Jaden. This learning design proved to be quite successful with increasing interest, continuity and retention in the study. Mata Palajaran favorite Saya Matematica. Saya Suka Balaja Bahasa Indonesia. <laughs> My name is Jill English. I'm the principal at Heathmont College. The bridge program that Prima has um, been successful in securing the funding for our school, absolutely um, a wonderful program. And we've been able to, through this project, develop a sister school relationship that has meant that our teachers and uh, their teachers have developed very close relationships our students are developing close relationships with the students of our sister school and it really is assisting to break down those cultural barriers and helping all our staff to understand more about the Asian culture and Asian languages in particular. Then, um, maybe from here uh, with advocacy and the Malaysian tour, just remember to Skype back from Malaysia to your students who are here so that the rest could also experience what... I'm currently working on a mentoring project with um, two teachers from Highview College. They are Ben and Carissa and they are lovely, young, passionate, beginning teachers with such energy. It's such a privilege for me to um, harness this energy and to channel them to the right ways on how to get the best out of them and also the best for their students. I liaise with them via emails, online chats, wiki spaces, and I try to uh, work with them to achieve their goals, which um, they have set. They have actually set very high goals. Uh, my focus has been uh, looking at retention rates. We have electives for Indonesian in year 9, 10, 11, and 12, and we find that there's a big drop off in year 8, especially with the boys. So I've decided to concentrate on engaging my learners in the language classroom. My goals for the future. I'm looking at, I suppose as an overall school thing, I'm looking personally at creating a sister school relationship with a school in Indonesia to try to improve, obviously, the students' contact with Indonesia and get, get some real experiences there. When they see achievement and um, evidence from what they have done, this really encourages them to go on and uh, I have seen such great things that these two students, uh, these two new teachers have done in their schools. Ben is, and ben is very excited over what he's doing for advocacy. He has put up a lot of stuff in his school newsletter. Such mentoring projects are really an excellent way for both beginning teachers and also experienced teachers like us because it takes us out of our comfort zone to see what great things we can still go on doing for our students. You guys are doing well. I'm sure you guys are doing well. We will with your help, definitely. Hello Mary, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I've just got all the stuff that you needed for your Indonesian day for tomorrow. I'll bring a few students also. I'm currently convening the cluster school program involving my school and our four feeder primary schools. All the principals have come on board and here we are developing a continuous curriculum across levels four and five. This is to support uh, transition, a seamless transition for students between the primary and secondary school and teachers come together to develop curriculum, share practices, discuss and help each other out. The primary school students have a taste of what, what secondary Indonesian would, is all about and my students would have a platform to use their learning and their ex expertise. I really value the uh, support that I get from my school leadership because uh, without that it would not have been possible to run the many various language programs that I have been doing for my students.